Hello everybody, welcome to Linda Linthicum United Methodist Church. Good to see you today. I don't know if you love reading the Psalms. Uh, I do, at least sometimes. <laughs> and one of the Psalms that I enjoy a lot is one of the shortest ones. It's Psalm 133. It's just three verses. And uh, it's got a beautiful message. And I just let me want to share that with you. Here's what it says. Look at how good and pleasing it is when families live together as one. It is like expensive oil poured over the head, running down onto the beard, Aaron's beard, which extended over the collar of his robes. It is like the dew on Mount Hermon, streaming down onto the mountains of Zion, because it is there that the Lord has commanded the blessing, everlasting life. Now it starts, how good and pleasing it is when families live together as one, and then talks about the dew on Mount Hermon. The first time I went to Israel um, in my late 20s, a long time ago now, someone explained to me that the dew on Mount Hermon is the snow. Mount Hermon is in the north of Israel and uh, higher elevation, and there is sometimes snow, which is not something that happens all that often in Israel. And so it's called the dew on Mount Hermon. It's the snow. It's beautiful. And then it melts and comes down uh, toward Zion, uh, which is farther south. And so that explains a little bit of the geography here. But it starts out how good and pleasing it is when families live together as one. One of the things that we know in our family, our part of the Christian family, our denominational family, the United Methodist Church, is that we have not in the last couple of decades been living together as one very well. We have had serious disagreements about how it is that we should read and interpret scripture and that has been lived out in how we should treat and live with our LGBTQ uh, brothers and sisters and our friends, our companions, our siblings, how it is that we should be together as a family. And it's caused some of the ugliest parts of us to rise up. We're still in the middle of all of that. If you haven't heard already, the Global Methodist Church, which is kind of uh, an outgrowth of the Wesleyan Covenant Association, launched its start on the 1st of May in this year. And there are some churches that are disaffiliating and some are going to independent and some are joining the Global Methodist Church. There aren't too many churches like that in our immediate area, but there are others around the country, more in other parts of the country. It's a sign of our inability to do what this psalm says is beautiful. Look how good and pleasing it is when families live together as one. I don't know where you are on all of that, but I'd invite you to be prayerful as this troublesome time in our denominational family goes on. This Wednesday, our bishop, Bishop Easterling, is doing a town hall. She's uh, kind of explaining what's going on, telling people what's happening, and trying to clarify some of the dif disinformation that's getting out all over the place. There have been a lot of things said and published that simply are not true. And this is an opportunity to kind of hear the truth, uh, the facts at least, and then you can decide what you'd like to do with those bits of information, how you'd like to put those together in your own thinking and praying and trying to be faithful as a disciple of Jesus Christ. And one of the things that I want to say is that Lyndon Linthicum United Methodist Church has gone on record, has spoken out and said, we are a congregation that is welcoming to all people. I believe it's a biblical stance and is certainly uh, the thing that we want to live out as we encounter people face to face, whoever they are, to say, you are welcome here. Let us journey together because in community, we encourage one another to become more and more like God wants us to be. So I hope that you will continue to be prayerful. 
about our denominational family to give thanks for this particular congregation of the United Methodist Church and to give thanks for your siblings in Christ, the people who are next to you in the pew, the people who are online in another place, but you know are in community with you, the people with whom you serve uh, and try to bless the community and the world. How beautiful it is, how good and pleasing it is when families live together as one. Our denomination is struggling but let's keep trying in this part of Christ's body to do exactly what it says in this psalm. God will help us. Amen. <laughs>